plaintiff, Beverly Karras, says when she started dating the defendant, she tried to help him with his crack addiction. However, Beverly claims the defendant did nothing but cheat, lie, and steal from her family. And he left her threatening voicemails, which she has in court. She's suing her ex today for the cost of three cell phones. Defendant Scott Donathan says Beverly is 16 years older than him. And while dating, she tried to control his every move. Scott claims now that he has a new girlfriend who's with him in court. Beverly has been harassing both of them, and he has the voicemail to prove it. He's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Dating this man has caused my family nothing but sorrow and grief. He has cheated, lied, and stole from my family. As a former correctional officer, tried to help him with his crack cocaine addiction, which in the process... Did he go into recovery? No. My recovery was five years in prison, Your Honor. No, I'm talking about treatment. There's... I was in treatment in prison. Okay. That's Drug treatment. What I'm How long ago was that? 2013, I got released. I did five years. All right, and you've been off crack for the most part since 2013? I have been off completely. Okay, so I'll call you a recovering addict. It's those that don't want to go into recovery and get treatment. I have to call them a crackhead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but recovering addicts, I give that designation to those who have sought help and in recovery. And aren't you glad he is? Um, he's not. I have proof of his addiction in Texas. That shows he was smoking crack? Yes, his own admission. Let me see. We're going to see whether you're a crackhead or a recovering addict. <laughs> That's evidence. Sorry. You say you haven't done nothing. I if smoked you honest, some weed, you... Your Honor. No, nah, well, I ain't talking about weed. We're talking about crack. Nah. <laughs> I think you're a recovering addict. She say you're a crackhead. <laughs> Where does he say he's smoking crack? In the Facebook. The I fa let my the, day, uh oh. Uh. The Facebook that you hacked and I have no access to? No, that's the Facebook that you admitted to. I let to my me. addiction take over me because, yes. sorry, I wish there was another way for me to unwind. He's showing regret. This is right, how a he recovering addict his, speaks, ma'am. Blew his money. Everything I see in reference to his addiction, he's sounding remorseful, and this sounds like a person who has relapsed and wants to avoid relapsing again. I let my addiction take over me because I'm sorry. I wish there was another way for me to unwind. The crackhead says, give me some crack, and I ain't guilty about it. I want as much crack as I can get, and I love smoking crack, and I'm gonna keep smoking crack. <laughs> this man is saying I'm recovering. I tried to stop and I'm sorry. My addiction has overtaken me. This sounds like somebody who doesn't want to be addicted to drugs and has been in recovery and has perhaps had a relapse. You want to give me some background then we'll get to the <laughs> cell phone she's suing you about. Well, Your Honor, she's 16 years older than me and she always wanted to be controlling. She cut my prison ID up, which I had to have remembrance of where I didn't want to go back to. She would hold my bank card and keep track of my spending. You she lived with her? Yes, Your Honor. Every time I left the house, Your Honor, she would want to know where I was at, how long I'm going to be, when I'm coming back, well, who I talk to. my wife does to me. <laughs> Take my money, <laughs> want to know where I'm going, where I've been. I can't use the credit card unless I ask. <laughs> She, she was just very controlling. I felt like she was more of a mother to me than a girlfriend. You 16 years older than them? I am. And he but lived I with you? He lived under your he roof? He lived under my well, roof. Well, she had a right. But he had his own cards and his... Oh, you let him use the he had No, he used his own cards. He sold the food stamps twice that he received for drugs and left my grandkids without no food. And, sir, I'm just having a little fun here, but I know the reason she controlled your things is because you were a risk of relapsing back into drugs, and she wanted to protect herself and her children and then perhaps help you avoid the temptation of having uh, a relapse with all these credit cards and all this other stuff that you had accessible to you. Why are you suing them about these cell phones? What happened? Um... Altel was going out of business. So I had to switch all the phones over to AT&T. When the phones came in, everybody that had a phone line had a choice of either keeping their phone or I was going to send it back in. I have witness statements that state everybody was responsible for their own phone bills. He has never paid his phone bill, ever. I've been paying it. 
The only thing I wanted back was for the two phones that I paid for when he dodged out and blew his money. And then I'm still paying on the original first cell phone. How did he get three, though? Well, what is that? I would love to tell you about that, Your Honor. He got his original one in June of 2014. <laughs> then he sold the first one in September of 2014. He tried to tell me that some old man took it in a truck and he didn't know who the name of the old man was and he couldn't find him. And then later on, like two weeks after that, the neighbor from down the street came down and knocked on the door and said, well, that phone that he had, he went to sell it again and sold it for $130. The third one, I had uh, another neighbor call me, said, hey, why is the phone shut off? Because it's not his phone. He said, well, he sold it. Dude wants to know why it's not on. And I've been sticking up for you. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, that's not the truth. The first phone that I had that she got me, uh, she got upset with me, we got into an argument. She turned it off and threw it at me and told me, do what you want with it. Did that so, happen? No. So I went to sell it again, which she said I went to, and I sold it for $100. That's because she had turned have... the service off. She turned the service off, threw it at me, and said, right. go do what you want that's with the it. First phone. What the happened second to the phone, second phone. The second phone, her and I got into an argument. I don't know the exact date, and I slammed it on the floor and I broke it. That didn't happen either? Go ahead, the third, third phone. The third phone, after I slammed the second one and she bought me another phone, she threw at me and it hit the corner of the couch and it broke. Crack. Then... <laughs> <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Crack. No, them some crackish stories, sir. You know those are crackish stories. No, Your Honor. Now, I've been trying to avoid. Now, you now, Your almost Honor. had me. You, had, you now, were now, Your that Honor. close Your Honor. to having Your Honor. me. Your Honor, there's a fourth phone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's the fourth the phone? The fourth phone uh, she had given to me, and she found out that my new girlfriend, Crystal, was down at the house with me. I had the phone for eight hours. She came down to where I live, screaming, yelling, banging on the door. I came outside. She demanded the fourth phone back. I gave it to her, and I had to walk her home just so she wouldn't call Crystal, me Crystal, you problem. stand up. He made reference to you. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. State your name. Crystal Lynn Frazier. Give me that story. See if it's the same. She... He originally gave him a phone to use. It was eight hours after he had got the phone. She had came down to his friend's house while I was there and was banging on the door and was demanding the phone back. He did take her and walk her back to her house after giving the cell phone back to her. And that was the end of that. Which is the cell phone that I do have voice recordings of um, her and I do have text messages. what? I'll play it for you, yeah, Your Honor. Yeah, play it. You have a transcript there of it? Yes, yes. Your Honor. She That's has, it. these had happened within See. the last four or five days. All right. Go ahead. Porn of you and your boyfriend are porn. I am a loser. Your boyfriend sucks for a drug. And you eat And then there's a text message from her daughter, which is the last one, Your Honor, threatening my girlfriend. I only left one voice message. I mean, you got that prison talk down, that's for sure. <laughs> he came to How my long house. you been in corrections? I was there for two and a half years. Yeah. He came to my house on June 8th. First, he had asked me for his things and asked me for the change yeah. for cigarettes if I still had it. Then he proceeded oh, that's another to tell thing, me Honor. about the two tickets he had. And then he proceeded to tell me about the buddy that he was living with needed $100 yeah. because her car was going to be impounded on Sunday. Crackhead story, no doubt. Well... My daughter came over and loaned them the $100 to, to pay off his debt, and he gave me his workman's comp card that he canceled. Because she started acting I crazy. What do you have on your on. tape, ma'am? It's a tape of him threatening. It's, it's a recording. Let's hear it. You don't knock off your child, this little <laughs> game. You're going to get the <laughs> slapped right out your fat. <laughs> don't be a chicken <laughs> to the phone. I can play these childish games. That's not me, Your Honor. Day. I know exactly who that is. I'm a cut you Yo, Billy, I want you back. This is Scott. I want you so bad. Why would I leave my name, Your Honor? That's not me. I know exactly who that is. That's one of my friends from Florida. It just happens to sound like you. That's not yeah. me, Your Honor. Just happens just to happens. sound no, like No, that is you. not me, Your Honor. It that does not sound name. like me. And she knows exactly who oh, that is. Man, I was I... giving you credit. Now you're acting like a crackhead. <laughs> no, Your Honor. That's not what's happening, Your Motion Honor. Motion on distress is dismissed. Whatever message she left was to you, ma'am. It wasn't to him. It was about him, but it was to you. So you have to sue her for emotional distress. The three cell phones, I believe everything you say, and I believe nothing you say. 
say, sir. Thank Have a you, good sir. day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank your you. claim is dismissed. Lying. You were lying. And you both are alcoholic pieces of straight talk. We're going to get threatened now. Hoes. Yeah, you know what the Glad she's is. got the you problem. And and don't. You family. So glad. And you're supposed to turn the around. You now your money. she's got the I'll problem. Pay you your and money. I don't. Yeah, you were lying. Mm -hmm. Oh, both of you are. Right. Yeah, all right. Have I just want her to leave us in hell. Have a nice life in jail. I ain't going to jail. I did my five years. I didn't lose my, my, my kids. kids. I get to see all yeah. three of my kids today when I get back to the hotel. Have fun in jail. Thank you, ho.